Hi, I'm Dr. Younger. I'm director of the Neuroinflammation Pain and Fatigue Laboratory, and I want to talk about decentralized clinical trials, or DCTs. These are clinical trials you're going to start hearing a lot more about, both from my group, and you're going to hear about it from other groups as well, because I believe that they're going to get quite popular in testing new treatments. So a DCT is a version of a clinical trial. And again, a clinical trial is just anytime we run a study where we're testing a new treatment for a disorder. So it's a clinical trial, but it's decentralized. And that just means you don't have to go to a particular place to participate. With a regular CT or clinical trial, you have to go to the university or the biomedical institute that's doing the trial. And so you have to live within, say, a couple hours drive to be able to participate in that restricts the participation to most of the United States and most of the world. So if you live far from a university, or if you have problems with mobility, or if you have problems with transportation, you may never have the chance to participate in any clinical trial for your disorder. You know, certainly for MECFS, myalgic encephalomyelitis, chronic fatigue syndrome, just as an example, most people with MECFS do not live close enough to a university or institute doing clinical trials. And so most people at the MECFS can never participate in a clinical trial. And that's something that I think we need to change if possible. One of the big questions that I get very frequently is from potential participants who say, I live in X I live in Wyoming, I live in Southern California, I live in New York. Can I participate in your trial? And our trials are centered in uh, Alabama and the Southeast. And so we always have to say no because a classic clinical trial requires multiple visits. You have to come in and get the next month's drugs and do some checkups and, and all this kind of thing. So again, I've never liked that limitation. And so I really want to change that as much as possible. So the goal with the DCT is to open up the clinical trials to anyone who meets the criteria in the United States and ultimately even outside of the United States. Now we're gonna start our first DCT in early 2023 and then we wanna add more uh, pretty soon and until we're at a point where most of our clinical trials are actually decentralized when possible. So the basic idea of the DCT, as you can probably imagine is you do most everything from your house. You do not come to the university where I'm at. There's only one time when you leave your house, and that is to do a blood check, which you can do at a local lab core or Quest, and those things are, are everywhere. And we do the blood test to make sure that your system is healthy enough to try a new treatment. And it's even possible to do that at home. There are at-home kits that can test, that can take a blood sample and look at your liver and kidney function. So it can be done at home. I prefer to go to a site and have it done by a lab technician, but it is possible to even do that at home. So you can actually have 100% of the study so that you never have to leave your house. Um, after that lab test to check for safety, everything else is at your house. Everything is remote, it's teleconference, it's email, it's through the app, you track your outcomes through a web-based app or, or a program on your tablet or phone. All the medication goes straight to your house. And so everything is done uh, at home. And so that's the advantage of it. So I'm really excited about trying this. Um, again, our first one is coming up. And I have not done one of these before. I've done plenty of clinical trials, but I haven't done it remotely. And so I'm looking forward to seeing how well that goes. Now, of course, there are treatments that can't be uh, used in this way. So if a treatment is highly experimental, if it's only been used in people for a short period of time, and if the safety profile is unknown, that's probably not the kind of treatment that we will do decentralized because we will probably want participants close in case something happens and we need to check them out. But if it's a botanical that's already commercial, and if it's um, a treatment that's been used for decades, that's something that could be done as a decentralized clinical trial. So um, I just want to introduce that idea. And of course, I'll do other videos talking about the specific clinical trials that we have planned. So you can see if that's something you can participate in. The first one to start is botanicals for Gulf War illness. And that's starting in very early 2023. We're going to be testing curcumin, resveratrol, 
and stinging nettle for Gulf War illness. And after that, the next one I plan on doing a low-dose naltrexone for MECFS and low-dose naltrexone for long COVID. And I think those would be good uh, DCTs as well. And then we'll go from there and see what other treatments we can do in that way. So if you want to keep up to date on the DCTs, you can follow this lab's YouTube channel. I, I will always post the new studies here and do a short video on them. You can also follow our Facebook page. I'll send updates there and I'll put the link below. And then um, maybe through Twitter as well. I'll put a link for that as well. And we'll, we'll put updates through that channel. So keep up to date on the notifications. And I hope that some of you will be participants in the clinical trials and you can get uh, good benefit from participating. So thank you.